Hello! Um, just in a rapid um, kind of update rather than review and it's I have been snooping about Canon's website and noticed they have launched or are about to launch a new line of camcorders. Now this is the quite exciting for me because um, I use the Canon XA10 which is here. Look at it, it's gorgeous, it's beautiful but don't stroke it, it's not a dog. Um, I've been using this for quite a while, uh, for about a year now and I really, really like it. Um, the biggest thing about it, which is really annoying, is this thing sounds like a maraca. There is some crazy shaking issues going on with this, but I've, I don't really use this a lot. I usually have the Rode video mic plugged in. So it was um, a wee bit disappointing to see that they don't seem to have changed that in the upgrade to the XA20 and 25. They still have this handle, which looks exactly the same. So it looks as if it will suffer the same rattling. Maybe not, maybe they have fixed it. I haven't seen any reviews um, as yet to see if it is fixed. Some of the things that are probably quite exciting is the recording modes. Um, Canon have finally put it up to full HD, uh, 50 frames per second, so that'll be good. And along with AVC HD recording, you've got MP4 recording. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if that really is noticeably different. Um, I'm really happy with the, the footage that I got off this now in a recording AVC HD. Um, it's, it's fine. Most of the time I'm downgrading it anyway to fit onto DVD, so it's... Is it really going to be worth upgrading just for MP4? The other thing they see, they've done is they've added the, uh, 20 times digital zoom. This thing's only got 10 times digital zoom. So it means you can zoom in that extra bit closer. Is it very exciting? I don't know yet. So the other thing um, is the image processor in it. The XA10 has the Digitech DV3. The XA20 and the XA25 have got the new uh, image processor. The other weird thing is the chip, um, which says, I think it's 20%, it'll give you 20% better low light performance. Now this, the XA10 is pretty decent in low light. I use my DSLRs for really low light situations because the footage just blows this out of the water and you get a lot of noise starting to come in um, if it's really dark with this thing. So 20% more better footage, it's not really a big seller to me. It should be like 50-60% better than I might have been interest, more interested. But, you know, it seems like a bit of minor upgrade to this. Do not come with built-in memory. This thing has 64 gig of built-in memory, which is really, really useful. It's also got the dual um, SD slots, but I've never used them. Um, if you want to record and record a backup at the same time, you can use that. I've never used it. I've always relied on the 64 gig uh, built-in hard drive, and it's been great so far. Um, so it's a bit disappointing. It doesn't come with any built-in memory. It surely can't be that expensive to add a chip in that gives you uh, built-in memory, but whatever. Um, I can't really see a lot of difference um, in the pictures, to be honest. If you look at the pictures, it looks like there's a different lens hood on it. And it says Wi-Fi at the side because it's now got the ability to wirelessly transfer data to different things. It's not that big a deal to plug in a cable, so again, that's not really a big selling point for me. One last thing that kind of got me a bit excited is it has a slow motion recording feature. So that'll be interesting to see if you get the kind of crystal clear slow motion stuff, like if you're watching football and they're sliding in, you see the wee bits of dirt slowly going everywhere, really crystal. wonder if it'll be that good or it'll just be like taking normal footage and slowing it down in your, your editor, which wouldn't be very impressive. So, Canon, I'm a bit disappointed, to be honest. Um, you know, if, I don't know what you're doing. It seems like you're kind of dripping technology in at a time when you actually have the ability surely to bring out something a bit better than that. Anyway, uh, this has got a third CMOS sensor. The new one's got like 1, 1 slash 2.84. What the heck is that all about? So yeah, I'm looking forward to it coming out to see what the footage is like. Um, I can't really say I'll be getting right in there to buy one because uh, there's nothing mega exciting about it really. Uh, so I'll stick to my wee XA10 now. I'm very, very happy with the way this thing performs. And uh, I'm sure that when these actually get fully released, these will go down a wee bit in price. So 
I recommend you pick one of these up because they're still really good camcorders. So stay tuned for more reviews and tips and advice and everything else that I post on this channel. Cheers!